My name is Hannah, I'm 27 and I'm a captain in the British Army. My job is second in command for a company of over 100 soldiers. I was selected for the Army at the age of 15 um, for officer training. Since then I went through my A-levels and they sponsored me through university and I finally commissioned from Sandhurst in August 2010. Uh, so this is my office, uh, it's where I spend most of my time uh, in work where I deal with everything from soldiers, welfare and, and discipline and anything that comes through the door really. I came out as a trans soldier uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, when I was in Germany and since then um, I've become the highest ranking openly serving trans soldier in the regular army. One of my additional duties is that I'm the transgender representative for the British Army which sees me deal with education, uh, welfare and dealing with any issues that uh, trans soldiers may have. Uh, the British Army is a fantastic employer for, for trans soldiers. We've had policy since 1999 and it's all really really clear and it just helps everyone in the entire process know what their responsibilities, what they do and when etc. It's just there to support the soldier and it just allows us to get on with being soldiers rather than just being trans soldiers. I think initially it was a bit of a shock to, to some people, they weren't really expecting it because it's not something you come across every day in the army. However, I think people soon realised that it just didn't make a difference to my job. At the end of the day I could still do all the things I could do before I transitioned and that's what the army really respects because we're all about capability and output and that's what, that's what matters. I absolutely adore the British Army life. It's work hard, it's play hard, and it's full of really good, positive people. And so, you know, I'm looking to stay in the Army for, certainly for, you know, the middling future. So hopefully promoting the future and become a more senior trans role model. So yeah, as part of the transition process, we, uh, uh, we have to change part of our uniform because obviously some of it's male, some of it's female. This is the, uh, the mess uniform which we, which we wear to social functions and the army actually gave me an extra grant of money to help me pay for it as part of my transition. My transition period has been a, has been a great journey so far but at the end of it, you know, being trans definitely is part of me but it doesn't define me. You know, there's lots of other aspects of me and my personality which really define who I am. So I'm, I'm really proud to be trans, but also I'm not just trans. So guys, my name is Melanie Scott. I am the youngest known serving soldier in the British Army and across the world. So the Army as a whole, we have an LGBT forum. Now myself and Captain Winterbourne, we are the transgender representatives. I'm the more talky-talky side of it and Hannah is the more liaise and event side of things. She sort of deals with the higher upside and policies, whereas I deal with the more groundwork of, hi, how are you? My name is Mel. Can I help you? We are a very personal and inclusive environment, so your personal life and your professional life are going to intertwine at some point, being in the forces. I struggled a lot with them um, sort of finding myself to begin with in transition, because, you know, you open those floodgates to let your new self out, and it's just like, wait, who is my new self? So trying to balance my job and my transition was um, quite an experience and, and there were times where I was in a lot of trouble because I couldn't get that balance right and my job actually suffered, suffered for it. But now I've found the perfect balance, you know, my transition does not affect my job apart from those days where I need to go down to London to get an appointment. But, you know, it's just like anybody else going to a hospital or something for like a leg injury or an arm injury, you know, it's no different. And I think that is the main message I'm trying to send to people is the fact that we are no different from any other human being.